Hello, my name is Kirk, and I will be stepping you through this tutorial for making a level in Halo. We'll be using the Halo Editing Toolkit and all the tools that came along with it, including uh, Tool, Gorilla, Sapien, and then Halo Custom Edition to actually play the level. Uh, we'll also be using 3ds Max 5 and Paint Shop Pro 8. Uh, Paint Shop Pro can be downloaded at jask.com. 3ds Max 5, uh, you can find information on that at discrete.com. And uh, the Halo to Editing Toolkit, you can find the links at uh, halomods.com and also cortana.org. And uh, to start out today, we're actually going to be making the ground material, and we'll be doing that in Paint Shop Pro. We're going to want to open up a new file, and we want it to be a 512 by 512, 16 million color image. And there we go. And now we'll actually uh, be creating the border first around the level. Uh, those will be the hills and cliffs around the level. And then we'll be creating the paths, uh, the paths and uh, dirt areas for the level. Okay, now that we have uh, this portion created, we are going to actually soften the image to uh, get rid of any harsh uh, dots that we may have, uh, to get rid of all the harsh pixels here. And we do that simply by going up to Effects, Effect Browser, then you're going to want to uh, go down to uh, from Presets to Adjust to Blur, select the uh, Blur Effect, and click Apply. And now we've just uh, successfully blurred the image, so now there will be no harsh points in it. Uh, now we need to actually create the alpha map. Uh, the alpha map will, map will define the areas that we want the grass and sand uh, textures to appear through our uh, image here. And to do that in Paint Shop Pro 8, uh, you simply go over to the image information section on the right hand side and click on the third icon over, it's the show all button. Uh, it has a little mask on it. You simply click on that. It asks if you want to promote it to a full layer. You click OK. And now we can actually edit the mask. Um, we want to select a color that has a red, green, blue value of 0. And now we're just going to simply paint around the area that uh, would be the grass. Okay, and once you're satisfied with that, we're going to want to actually save it. So we'll go up to Layers, Load Save Mask, and Save Mask to Alpha Channel. You're going to click on that, and we're just going to keep the uh, settings by default here. So we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Okay, now we're going to want to paint the grass. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select a deep uh, forest green color. and we're going to want to merge all layers so we're going to go and uh, right click go down to merge all layers and now we've merged them all and now we're just going to go ahead and paint the grass Okay, and once you have uh, successfully painted in all the white areas with green, we're actually going to add a texture on top of the grass layer. And we will accomplish this by uh, going to the airbrush tool. We're going to keep the size up at around 40. The hardness we're going to drop down to about 20. The step will bring it up to 80. And the density will bring it down to about 10. Thickness and opacity should be at 100. 
and we're going to select a color that's a little bit darker than uh, the green that we painted the ground with. And then we're going to assign the right mouse button color to be a uh, darker brown. And once you've done that, we're going to select our dark green color and go for a black color. Click OK. And then just put a few stripes in here. OK, and then with uh, black selected, we're actually going to go around what will be the cliffs. Okay, and then at this point we want to blur it again. So again, we'll go to Effects, Effect Browser, Blur, and Apply. Now we're going to want to save our file, and in saving our file, we're actually going to be creating the uh, uh, directory destruct directory structure for the level. So we'll go to File, Save As. You're going to want to navigate to your Halo CE root directory. Then from there go into data and then levels and we'll create a new folder. Uh, the name of this folder will be the name of our level which is Splinter. We'll go into that folder and create two new folders, one bitmaps folder and one models folder. And we'll go into the bitmaps folder and we'll save this image as Splinter underscore ground and the file type as a TIF file. You're going to want to go into options and just verify that the compression factor is uncompressed and the color channels are red, green, blue. If you use any other type of compression factor then uh, the image will not export correctly using the tool command. Uh, so right here we're fine so we'll go ahead and click OK and we're going to save the file. And that is it for creating the image. In the next step, we're actually going to be going into uh, 3ds Max and creating the level.